Hello Pisces, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your full moon reading for March 9th. So we're gonna look at the full moon energy. Um, if you're new here, my name is Melissa and I do tarot readings based on the new moon energy and energy and the full moon energy. Uh, so for the full moon, we're looking at the peak of the cycle. So intentions that you maybe put out in the new moon, what's coming to the surface, which, what is peaking for you, and what maybe we need to start um, releasing in order to start the next cycle. So we're looking at kind of the last two weeks or so of the, uh, of the lunar cycle. Now, let's get into it. All right. I'm going to use my pendulum to decide which deck we're using, which deck for Pisces. All right, that's pretty clear. We're using Dark Mansion. All right. Oh, while I do a little bit of shuffling, I want to um, remind you guys, if you're new and you aren't a subscriber, I did reach a milestone, so check out the video in the description. Um, doing a little celebration for my milestone. I reached 1,000 subscribers, and I'm super, super grateful, and so I'm sharing some things with you guys. So check out that video if you're interested. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, I have kind of a funny video that I'm going to be filming very soon um, that you probably might not want to miss. Unless you're like super easily triggered. I'll just throw that hint out there. And this video is the only video that has any hints or anything about that one. All right, let's get into it. Pisces full moon. What is Pisces full moon energy? What is the energy of Pisces during this full moon, please? Okay. That's kind of a lot of cards, guys. All right, we're taking them. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles. The High Priestess. The Ace of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right, let me move some stuff around and make room for all these cards. <laughs> all right, so current energy. Current energy is very, I'm feeling wobbly, okay? So we do have um, a major arcana right in the middle of these five cards, which is the high priestess. The high priestess is about your intuition. Hello, Pisces. Pisces is, you know, possibly the most intuitive sign there is. So... I'm not surprised that that would come out. But we also have the Knight of Wands on this side next to the Five of Pentacles. I feel the wobble, I feel like there is, okay, the crux, crux, is that? I'm getting the image of a teeter-totter and then the, um, like, where, where the teeter-totter goes like this, the peak of that, I guess that's the crux of the situation, uh, is the High Priestess, is your intuition. Okay, and then on one side, I have the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, where it's it's like kind of like moving in a direction of that. Moving in a direction of feeling down and out, moving in, in that direction. Ooh, moving away. Okay, that's clicking. No, nope, they're this way on the table. Moving away from it. Okay, so maybe there is a little bit of this energy going on and we're moving away. Okay, that's making way more sense. Yes, so I feel like there is, there is, you're still kind of here a little bit. Okay, you're still kind of here a little bit. You're not feeling the greatest. Something's got you down, um, but I, you're, you're moving away from it. And I feel like it's your intuition that is guiding you away from whatever this is. Now, on the other side of this teeter-totter, uh, we have the Ace of Swords which is um, a beginning, uh, a new idea, some kind of inspiration, okay? Some kind of inspiration coming in. I feel like getting away from this mindset, this, this feeling of being low, like I feel like this is just um, low vibration, right? This is just like you're, you're on the low end of the scale here and you're, you're working toward moving away from it. I feel like once you get a little bit further away from that, then we have some kind of idea that that's just like, whoa, why didn't I think of this? Okay. Um, and it's because your intuition is, is kind of allowing that to come in for you. Um, that leads us to the queen of pentacles. All right. So we have the queen of pentacles who is very um, practical, 
So not really worrying about this, right? At practicality, if my if my vibes are kind of low and I'm feeling fear or I'm feeling doubt or I'm feeling, um, you know, what's the other really low emotion? Anger, okay? If I'm feeling angry or fearful or doubtful of a situation, I know practically, I know that I need to move away from that. And I feel like that's kind of what you're doing and you're, you're, you're going toward a new idea, which leads you to this queen of pentacles energy of, being practical, being, you know, being strong, but also being not really, I mean, kind of nurturing. Yes. Uh, being thoughtful. That that's the word being thoughtful and, and grateful in your, your actions with your, your, not your energy, but every, it is just an encompassing of your energy, everybody else's energy, your physical, everything around you. It's kind of like starting to feel that gratitude, getting those those new ideas flowing. That's kind of what you're going toward. But I feel like your intuition is bringing that in for you. Um, but once you get yourself, your, your, your like frequency raised up a little bit, um, then you get to that practical state where you're like, okay, that was stupid. I'm not going to do that again. Um, I'm not going to get in that state of anger, whatever, you know, if there's a situation that caused some anger or some fear or doubt, um, I now know, I recognize and acknowledge practically that that was not good for me. And, and you know, like I, now I have these new ideas of where I can go forward from here. And you kind of start to embody that Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? All right. Now that we've gone through those five cards... What? I mean, maybe this was both sets. What does Pisces need to know? Jesus. No, that's too many cards. That was an accident. That was like eight cards. Who's got time for that? All right, that's better. That one is still going to end up coming out, isn't it? Okay, and that one. All right, those two... These 10. This deck is hard to shuffle. All right. Yeah. We got some more defensiveness. You know, being not really greedy, but being afraid to release. Being afraid to let go of something. But, you know, like being very guarded about it. Okay. What else does, what is, what does Pisces need to know? Clarify this Four of Pentacles, please. Why okay, is this Four of Pentacles here? Mm. We have the two of cups. Okay. Um, does this have to do with another person? I kind of feel like there's a partnership that is the, what you're trying to hold on to. Okay. So this is, you know, holding on for dear life, not wanting to release, not wanting to let go. Uh, you know, like if, if I let this go, I'm never going to see it again, or I'm never going to get anything to replace it. Like, you know, it's just not really wanting to let go of something. So, and I feel like it's a partner or um, an interest. Maybe I'm kind of feeling like maybe it's somebody that you are not currently with, but um, somebody that you just can't, you just can't let go of them. And I, I kind of am really getting the impression that it's not somebody that you're actually with or were actually with, um, possibly somebody from, you know, long, long ago. But I feel like there's just a person that you just are having trouble letting go of. Um, you're, you're feeling very guarded because you can't let go of this other person. All right. And then we had those two. King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles coming out here, guys. Lots of Pentacles. We have the King and the Queen. We have the Nine and the Five and the Four of Pentacles. So is this somebody that you possibly somebody that you work with? Or it could be this partnership having to do with career or finances um, that you're struggling to let go of. But we have the king and the nine now, all right? So the king is being, you know, we have the king and the queen. So, uh, ooh, parents possibly. Having a hard time letting go of some something to do with your parents. Um, not really wanting to go out on your own. But... I see solo. Okay. This card for me is, um, being kind of single and okay with it. Um, 
preferring to be single, being okay, you know, just being okay with who you are and, and owning yourself and being in tune with yourself, um, which also comes from the king and the queen of pentacles, right? This is being, uh, being on top of it, being um, the master of your, um, of your house, or your castle or your money or um, that kind of stuff. The, the stuff that you can touch, right? It's kind of being in charge of your surroundings and um, hearth. I'm hearing hearth, your hearth and home, whatever that, whatever. Um, not dismissing, but whatever that means to you. Um, I, I, I feel like that being, being kind of on top of it and solo and releasing whatever this partnership was um, is kind of the direction that you want to be heading. Like I said, the first one is kind of, you know, being down and low vibe and moving away from that into a space where you are hearing new communications, you're hearing new ideas come to you and kind of starting to get to that practical state of, of owning it. Um, but I believe what we're getting here is that you should, you need to be letting go, um, kind of releasing the releasing of a partnership. Okay. Um, so whether this is somebody that you've worked with or, um, you, I'm really getting very specifically somebody that you were supposed to partner with on something. Um, but I feel like maybe got left, you kind of got left behind on that and they, um, they just kind of stopped communicating. And so you haven't been able to let that go. Um, I feel like letting that go and just doing it on your own is is kind of is the direction that you are being guided towards okay is there any other messages for pisces anything else pisces needs to know all right we got another queen the queen of wands showed up all right so another queen here all right she is very passionate she is very driven and motivated um I, I feel like that's look for that passion, look for that motivation. Um, we do not, we have one cup and it was a clarifying card. I feel like looking for that passion, looking for that motivation is going to be key, a key player in this game that you've got going on here where you don't want to release, but I'm, I'm getting very vaguely that, you know, maybe you should start looking into doing this on your own. Okay. There might be just some kind of bright new idea coming in for you that you are meant to do on your own, thinking practically, having motivation and, and feeling passionate about it. So like whatever, if there was something that you were trying to build with another person, it's time to release that, let that go. And then maybe start some intentions um, under the new moon energy to kind of start that on your own and and start taking steps forward being practical minded and and um doing something that really really motivates you something that you really feel good about doing so that's what i have for you thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications on all of the next videos i will see you soon and have a blessed day